girl, you know it's price clear. How my baby's running this the block, cause she fear. What you do to you if you get dirty hands in the near? What you do, what she is, little boy, I'll tell you this. If baby won't sit, she can sit. If baby says lit, it's lit. Got your bank account in a cube. If she said it loud, it's the truth. If baby wanna ride, she can ride. If baby needs some time, she got time. With a cold shoulder, you be cool, but I don't know you. Wrote a flower and I'm off the potion. Give me superpowers that I won't stop. To the bank, roll on super massive. Big bank for the space chatter. Way up in a squad, NASA. Copper field with the dark magic. Subtle flex when I run a race. Tell these rap buddies, eat my dust. Lil' baddie off the cellular. Talking life and I will set it up. I'm a sharp shooter, yeah, Will Smith. Call me Prince Park, let me freshen up. Bay boy on a level up. Way up in the nebulas, uh. I'm never copping a chain, cause I see it all through the frames. And I leave it all on the page. It's feeling like they want me locked in a cage. They want us all in their face, nah. But I'ma go all the way A, pretty. Cause I don't feel all the way safe, yeah. yeah. Spray the champagne, shower up in the air. Stand the goggles, I don't mess with the flu. Untamed, and she wide off the goose. Ghost ride, yeah, I come through the roof. Tuck it 12, get it all on my tail. Hella wild, and I break all the rules. Chill, chill, bro, you way out of line. Yeah, I know it's a mood. I'ma go all the way up. They keep it calling my phone. They catching on to the buzz. I got it out of the mud. But I'ma go all the way up Bad girl from the soil She taking me out of this world So I'ma go all the got way up Got the squinting, got the gators spinning I'm outrageous with it, going crazy with it Got the phrase jumping off the page Gifted, got the waves wishing Got the neighbors tripping Got the trap booming, jumping out the speakers Drip on me, jumping off the easel Gold wrist, he couldn't tell me no Nah, bought a fist dude. Cooking the bars, turn the lab into a living kitchen Watch him grimace when I water whip it Subtle flexing, live a candy image Come from pushing in the S-type with no license Gas load of windows tinted Still couldn't see me with the zoom on your little vision Nah, we are not the same, we got different lists No one snapping like we something real vivid Keep it realistic Quick to split it with my day ones Got the label making bank runs Cause the train of thought like a freight, huh? I'm the type to get a late start You the type to be afraid, huh? I'm the type to never have things You the type to have a maid, huh? Yeah, wave And I keep you to the flame, huh? How they got me going this hard, really, I'm the type they never say much Vice grip, got the game clutch, every song make the stage rush I always said making money might change things, but never let it make us I'ma go all the way up, they keep on calling my phone They catching on to the buzz, I got it out of the mud But I'ma go all the way up, bad girl from the soil She taking me out of this world, I'ma go, I'ma go all the way up 
They keep on calling my phone. They catching on to the bus. I got it out of the mud. Tryna go all the way up. They keep on calling my phone. They catching on to the bus. I got it out of the mud. Tryna go all the way up. Yo, hit up with a dream. Hold it down for my team. I'm afraid of how I'm feeling. I get high in the ceiling. How I'm feeling. High in the ceiling. I've been living like I'm past rules. In this ride, tap to a living like I'm finished. Bitch, I'ma go all the way up. Wait. Wait. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 See, we was cool right before I hit the fence But he hit the fan when I got him down and pinched But I took a break, I had to leave and go get cleansed God forgive me for all my sins I can't say these cause my last name ain't Kent Cooking on the stove, that's the way he paid the rent Working on the pole, that's the way she pays the wish Better watch your soul, cause you know they trying to get it Yeah, yeah I learned my right from wrong on a song I let my heart bleed on my sleeve through microphones I'm trying to write my wrongs By writing out my wrongs Ran through a check, cause it's hard to live off bread alone So if you see me slipping, yeah, yeah, let me know Cause it ain't the end of times yet, I know, but it's getting close Yeah, I need my space to breathe, that's why I be going ghost I ain't trying to stay up on that wide road Cause I can't let them take my soul Nah, 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 no Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. They thinking I'm bluffing, but I promise I do it. That K got a drum, like murder and booming. We sending you verb, if I get my little Uzi. They thinking I'm crazy, I'm gon' see you the haters. People I'm saying, get what I'm painting. A picture big, I call it little baby. If I'm on the board, then we playing chess. If you on my way, you gon' need a vest. Act big, you might get stretched. All your gun talk, I ain't impressed. My 45 seen real traffic. That's Dallas, Texas. My little partner called a body for a Maserati. He told him, get about the car, hit him with the shoddy. That 12th gauge gave him life in the 12th grade. I tried to write him, but we ain't on the same page. I caught him slipping. I just had to let him know. It ain't the end of times yet. I know, but it's getting close. These demons really had to get you, so you better guard your post. There's certain things I could probably let go, but I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let them take my soul.
your all into all that you do It's only right, it's what I deserve Love, tell me what you're done for What's cracking? What's cracking? What's good? What's good? Leave, leave that on, and we're gonna. I'm gonna play another uh, one record. You know, we we got a big show today, man. We're gonna get a few people on here. We're gonna chop it up. This is gonna be a forum today. Um, if you don't know who I am, I'm Baron J, part of the TNJ Radio Show. You know, um, I like to call myself Steve Rogers. I could do this all day. I'm William A. Thomas, other half of the duo. Today, I got on that Deadpool. We about to kill him today. Oh, let's go. 
Let's go. It's about to get dark. Yeah. All right. So just give us a few more minutes. Um, we got we got a, some uh, people to um, send the link to. We're gonna have some people on here. We're gonna chop it up. You know, uh, can you put the link in the in the comments real quick? I'm gonna send it to a couple more people. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna all get on here, man. We're gonna do the uh, Justice League slash Avengers. We all gonna get on here. <laughs> And we, we see you um waiting in the queue already. I see there's already um people. All right, so just, just a couple more minutes. I don't mean to put it on your nose, but it's clear. How my baby's running this the block cause you fear what you do to you if you get dirty hands in the near what you do. She is little boy, I tell you this. If baby won't sit, she can sit. If baby says lit, it's lit. Got your bank account in a cube. If she said it loud, it's the truth. If baby wanna ride, she can ride. If baby needs some time, she got time. Got your bank account in a cube. She can make a count, how about you? How about you? She will put you in the bag. Wouldn't even need a planet nah. If she wanted, she a magnet They should let her name a planet uh, Everything she dropped like Corona Viral, make the world start over like a owner She ain't about to set, but they really want to get on uh, Listen, she like Bay, she like Hova Self-employed, moving paper better than some Billy boy Made a choice, on the regular, she bring a milli home Click my phone, get my ass Making sure that you all know Baby won't sit, she can sit If baby says lit, it's lit Got your blank account in a cube If you said it loud, it's the truth Send it out, baby man Baby won't ride, she can ride Hit that like, hit that subscribe, man Baby needs some time, she got time Got your blank account in a cube She can make a count, how about you? She be always making money if it's been it if it's sunny, she make time to call me honey every day. Pop a couple bands on the cook, then you pay. Then a couple more on the tip, baby saves. That is just the everyday, imagine holiday. If I get the 50 cents, she get me holiday. Signing with the fly, if you meet her, no, it's true. So if she ever ask you, you know that. Baby won't sit, she can sit. Baby says lit, it's lit. Got your blank account in the queue. Yeah, so like and share, man. We got that car. We got you in the um, see you in the queue. Let's go. Don't be scared. Come on here, man. We're going to talk about this. A few topics. Uh, I'm going to go all the way up. Way up. They keep on calling my phone. No. They catching on to the bus. I got it out of the mud. Yeah. But I'm going to go all the way up. Bad girl from the sun. Taking me out of this okay, okay. world. So go Wave. All the way up. Nice guy with a cold shoulder. You be cool, but I don't know you. Wrote a flower and I'm off the potion. Give me super... Powers and I won't stop to the bank roll on super massive Big bank for the space chatter Way up in a squad NASA Copper field with the dark magic Subtle flex when I run a race Tell these rap buddies eat my dust Lil baddie after cellular Talking life and I will set it up I'm a sharp shooter Yeah, Will Smith Call me Prince Park Let me freshen up Bay boy on a level up Way up in the nebulas uh, I'm never copping a chain Cause I see it all through the frames And I leave it all on the page It's feeling like they want me locked in a cage They want us all on the fade nah. But I'ma go all the way A Cause I don't feel all the way safe here yeah. yeah. Spray the champagne, shower up in the air Stand the goggles, I don't mess with the flu Untamed, and she ride off the goose Ghost ride, yeah, I come through the roof Tuck it 12, get it all on my tail Hella wild, and I break all the rules Chill, chill, bro, you way out of line Yeah, I know it's a mood I'ma go all the way up They keep on calling my phone They catching on to the bus I got it out of the mud But I'ma go all the way up 
Bad girl from the shore, she taking me out of this world. So I'ma go all the way. Got the spinning, got the eighty spinning. I'm outrageous with it, going crazy with it. Got the phrase jumping off the page, get the the way of fishing. Got the neighbors tripping, got the trap booming, jumping off the speakers. Drip on me, jumping off the easel. Gold wristy, couldn't tell me nothing. Nah, bought a fist cooking the bars, turn a lab into a living kitchen. Watch me grimace when I water with it. Subtle flexing in the candid image. Come from pushing in the S type with no license. Gas load of windows tinted. Still couldn't see me with the zoom on your little vision. Nah, we are not the same. We got different lists. No one snapping like we something real vivid. Keep it realistic. Quick to split it with my day ones. Got the label making bank runs. Cause the train of thought like a freight, huh? I'm the type to get a late start. You the type to be afraid, huh? I'm the type to never have things. You the type to have a made, huh? Yeah. Wave. And I keep you to the flame, huh? How they got me going this hard. Really, I'm the type to never. But say much, vice grip, got the game clutch Every song I make the stage rush I always said making money might change things But never let it make us I'ma go all the way up They keep on calling my phone They catching on to the bus I got it out of the mud But I'ma go all the way up Bad girl from the soil She taking me out of this world I'ma go, so I'ma go all the way up They keep on calling my phone they catching on to the bus. I got it out of the mud. Try to go all the way up. Yeah. They keep on calling my phone. They catching on to the bus. I got it out of the mud. Try to go all the way up. Y'all hit up with a dream. Hold it down for my team. I'm afraid of how I did it. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's cracking, man? What's cracking, fellas? Good. Everything, man. I see Keith, you're not on mute. Let's uh, get him off of mute. What's going on, Keith? Oh, he put us up. Hey, I'm, I'm thankful. Oh, man, we appreciate you, man. We appreciate you. Uh, first, you know, we always do like a wellness check, man. So, um, Will, you good? Everything good with you? Oh, man. I'm great. How was your day? Uh, I was... um. It was interesting, you know. I'm I'm part of a cult. Why do you say that? You know, I'm 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 part of that air fryer cult. I done <sighs> I done uh, I did fish today. Man. That's what I'm talking about. I had <laughs> seasoned it up real nice though in the air fryer. I, I, I've been messing out. I'm part of the cult. <laughs> and I told you about him. I've been telling you about this. You know, I'm glad you you joined the uh, the revolution. <laughs> hey, hey uh, Keith, do you yeah. have a uh, do you have an air fryer? No, but I got uh, one of those uh, uh, Betty Crocker those those what do you call those joints? Easy uh, crock. <laughs> like, like, why is it why is it escaping me? Uh, uh, pressure cookers. Oh yeah, you you be doing a rice in there, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> throwing, that, throwing them rice and peas up in that mug, huh? Rice and peas. So we got we got our pressure cooker. We we use that thing. It's 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 a it's a blessing. It's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's grown people talk right there. We talk about we be uh going to work like we we're gonna put these beans on and by the time we get home they be done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Soak the beans first. <laughs> neck bones and chill. That's that's what old people do. They don't watch Netflix. They neck bones and chill, huh? Mm. Neck bones and chill for real. <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm happy, man. I'm down south, man. For uh, first of all, how DC? How's the weather in DC? Uh, it, it's it's cold. I, I'm not too jealous of y'all in the south, man. It was it like 56 degrees, man. The day was 73 all day, all day, I'm baby. Done. I'm done. <laughs> I had the sunroof open. Man, you, you guys, you gotta package it up some of that sun, set it up up here to DC, man, because I my, my my light bill is high, <laughs> my electric bill is high. I'm trying to keep the house warm. <laughs> man, oh man, let's get uh, we're gonna get everybody on here. Yeah, yeah, man. What's up, Captain? Salute, Captain. What, you there? What's up, man? Oh, we gotta salute the captain, man. You know what I'm saying? Moment yeah. of silence. He's, <laughs> How y'all doing today? Are we good, man? We about to go in here, man. We we uh, just gonna get a few people on, but uh, we good, man. We we you uh oh yeah. So so Keith, you was talking about uh DC's cold man down here, man. It was seventy five degrees. Well, about seventy three to seventy five. Sunny out, man. I had the the uh you know the sunroof open. You know what I'm saying? I had to take off the hoodie because I had a hoodie on. It was just too I hot. I was perspiring out that month, you know. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I'm envious over here. Man. I had to bundle up. 
And it's hard getting in the car in the morning when it, when it's cold. <laughs> Yo, you remember? Um, I don't know, Keith. I don't know if you can talk about this, but can, can we talk about Pittsburgh? When we was in Go Pittsburgh? ahead, man. All right, man. Well, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna go too far because we, you know, we we in another past life. You know what I'm saying? We uh, <laughs> we, we can't go too far. But um, man. You remember that time we was at Tequila Willie's? I ain't gonna talk about it, but you remember that time? <laughs> you ain't gonna talk about it. I ain't gonna talk about it. Hey, hey, Captain, have you been to Tequila Willie's? Let me... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, we had some good that times. Was, that, was, that was one of them, but that was a while ago, man. It was... <laughs> yeah. We had to write it in a book later, you know, when we on a death bed. <laughs> yeah, but um, I used to hate that, man. You remember like back in the day, Captain? What'd you say? What, what was your spot back in the day? Uh, let me see. Tequila, Tequila Willie's was definitely one of them. Uh, Chauncey's, Donkey's. Yeah. Oh, shout out to that. Uh, what else? What else? What was the one little dip out of Oakland? They kicked, they banned me from Lager? Yeah, yeah, they banned me from Man, Lager. they used to get it on in there, boy, fighting. Yeah, I was fighting in there. They, they banned me from there. <laughs> It was one of them, huh? I, I probably yeah. was there when they was kicking everybody out. <laughs> Pro- probably so. Probably so. Man, look, let me tell you what time. Man. I went to the locker, man. I, I, I like to tell this story one time, but uh, that's when um, I think it was like 2000. 99, 2000. I don't, um, but anyway, I was up in there. It was packed. So I was rolling with like three of my dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? We rolling. We go up on this stage, and it's just like really packed on that stage up there. I don't know if y'all remember that if y'all went up in there. And um, I just it just felt uncomfortable. Like the Holy Spirit, I don't know why I'm talking about Holy Spirit in the club, but the Holy Spirit told me to get off that stage, right? As soon as we walk off that stage, man, they hit Royal Rumble out there, man. They they beat up the uh, the staff, and then you know you that's on the third floor, so everybody running. It was like so unsafe. We get down to the uh, you know the main street. Was that Forbes? I'm I'm so out of touch now. For, I think it's Forbes. It was Forbes. I man, think so. They fighting down the whole block, like dogs out. I was like, oh, and I'm, I'm a kid then. I'm just jumping up like it was exciting. Like, oh my god, look at this! I would never do nothing like that again. Yeah. I remember, I remember Lager. You guys brought it back. Lager is uh, where all the uh, pit athletes reach their peak. <laughs> <laughs> true, true statement, right they, there. They were the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what about Stratus? They had Stratus over there at the, uh, by the Arby's. Because I wasn't even allowed at Blogger. I was too young. I can only go to Stratus. Stratus was like, you know, if you if you went the uh, the other side, you know, the uh, <laughs> the man made <laughs> Yeah, the man made You go over there, you know, there'd be like uh, four blacks with a bunch of white girls out there, man. That's what I that's what I remember. You know, that's the original South Side before the South Side Stratus. Facts, fact. That's a whole fact. And the and the O oh, is the O oh still down there? Original? No, nah, they tore that down. It's a taco joint now. Oh, for oh, real? Oh. Man. Yeah, yeah, oh, the O's gone. The what? Man, that was my spot. And then Hemingway's was right next to there, I think. Yeah, oh. I, I think that's a Dunkin' Donuts now. Man, I mean, done change. <laughs> yeah, Keith, 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 was, Keith used to live up there at the, uh, Pitt Campus, man. He, he, uh, he used to show me around. Yeah, around. Oakland, <laughs> Oakland. <laughs> man, um, so Will, you want to you want to talk on, about the uh, the Bryant the football lawsuit, or you want to talk about Whoopi? Uh, we 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 going to get into the football lawsuit. You know that's that's the main event everybody been waiting for. We're going to get back to Whoopi if we got time. But um, all right, you want to give the people to run down um for people who didn't, didn't um know the details. Yeah, so for those who don't know, Brian Flores, former coach of the Miami Dolphins, was fired after what some would say a successful season, Pittsburghers. Um, some would say a um, subpar year, you know, everyone else. But in the midst of um, this, he was looking to get hired by other places, and the Giants were one of the suitors. Mm-hmm. But he ended up getting a text, and the text I'm a, Almost looked like it was saying congratulations on getting the job. He, he's like, um, he's like, what you 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 hear something I ain't hear? And uh, that was from Bill Belichick. He wrote the Giants, 
And, um, you know, he wrote um, back, you know, yeah, I'm going to go interview on Thursday with them. And um, here, let me pull it up uh, so I got it exactly. Yeah, I'm going to interview on Thursday. And, um, you know, Bill Belichick, he's like, I think I have a shot. Bill's like, you got it. I hear from Buffalo and New York that you're their guy. Hope it works out for you if you want it. And then um, Brian's like, that's definitely what I want. Hope you're right, coach. Thank you. And then he 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 thought about it. He was like, Coach, are you talking to Brian Flores or Brian the ball? Just making sure. And um, Belichick says, sorry, I effed this up. I double-checked and uh, mis, misread the text. I think they are ramming the ball. Um, I'm, I'm sorry about that. And he put BB for Bill Belichick. And that was the end of it. So, um. What we're looking at is, has anyone ever um, sent a text to someone and it accidentally went to someone else, whether from one girl to another girl or um, to another girl while you married? And you well, see your wife talking about, um, you know, um, I'm about to leave right now. And, well, and your wife, like, what? you said you was going to the store. Well, my, my question is, and I want to ask, um, and then, you know, we could talk about that situation. Have you ever been lost a job due to your principles? You know, like you, you or, you know, because there was a time where me when um, I tried to stand up for something and I thought the, uh, my staff was going to stand behind me and they didn't. And I ended up getting written up. You know, is it worth it? You know, is, is people folding under pressure? Or they they like no I need my job because I got this house and I got these kids and stuff like that so hey I want I want to um you know let's talk about that a little bit Marloka you want to go first um one second folks oh, man I'm so sorry I got to use the bathroom all right <laughs> hey real time this is real live right here yep. um what about Captain what you what you think you say it again now. <clears throat> what, you, what you think about the situation? And have you ever been in a situation where you lost a job due to your principles? They said they want you to do something. You're like, I'm not doing it. You ever do that? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Mm, elaborate. That happened to me a couple of times. Uh, I got my um, family member hired or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, they tried to put the pressure on me to fire my own cousin. And I'm like, mm -mm, nah, I'm not doing that. Wind up firing both of us. Damn. You know? <laughs> yeah. But I was like, hey, I'd rather it happen like that than I have to fire my own family. Like, he wasn't doing nothing wrong. Now, I could see if he was messing up, but like, yeah. he wasn't doing nothing wrong. So, y'all both was broke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd have yeah. sold him out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, look, I got I got bills, bro. You shoot, you ain't going down in the courthouse with me, bro. <laughs> like, no. But um, what about you, uh L L? Um Okay, so one time at work, you know, I have long hair, so they were telling me that not that I had to cut it, but they were saying it couldn't be a certain way. I couldn't just let it hang. And I pretty much was like, uh, didn't agree with that. And then like the people at work kind of stood behind me and was like saying they don't agree with that and stuff. But I eventually just cut my hair to like not have to deal with it anymore. Mm. Like just eliminate the problem as a whole. Mm. You, you think you were going to lose the job? No, not at all. Because I was like tying my hair like they asked, but my thing i was compl i was complaining about how my hair was and then like i would see like the females in there and their hair would be the exact same but i had to come mm. on because they had like different rules since i was a guy interesting 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 now as far as the um what um brass flory's case in the nfl there are 70 percent african americans that play the game but yet there's only one um, coach, black coach. And, you know, they did this Rooney rule since um, 2003, I believe, you know. And and it was all because of, uh, what's his name, Tony Dungy getting fired when he was had a winning season. Now, what do you – do you think things changed? Do you think it got better? Do you think it got worse? Um, do you think anything will come from this uh, this lawsuit that he's, that he's doing? 
Now nah, the Rudy rule, all it says is you got an interview. It says nothing about hiring them. So to get around that, they do an interview, interview a minority coach and be like, oh, no, that's not the fit and go with they white dude. So there's a loophole in that. It doesn't say you got to hire them. It just say you got to give them an opportunity. You know, you go on an interview and that's bullshit. How to do Flores take Miami nine and seven, eight and eight, and uh, I believe six and ten or whatever. But they got better every year. And then they fire him, and then you got bum ass Josh McDaniels and um, the other Patriot dude. Do I forget his name? Pat was at Detroit. They get jobs, and they went two and 14, three and 13, and get a job as soon as they get fired. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Like, and then you can even go to the NBA, the black coach um, that was for Toronto. He won coach of the year and got fired the same year. So, like, I remember that. Yeah, Cardwell, uh, Carswell, uh, Dwayne Cardwell. Yeah, you went coach. That's like you win the employee of the year, and they fire you as soon as you get the award. Like, come on now. Uh, yeah, that, uh, 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 none of that means nothing. It just say you got to interview them. It don't say nothing about hiring. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's true. But so my question is: Is are people talking about this in the streets? Do they do they care? You know, um, is, it, is is he getting Colin Kaepernick? Oh, he's on his way. If he start talking, yeah, he ain't gonna never find a job. Yeah, as soon as he open his mouth, it, it's over. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, well, what's your thoughts? Do you well, my my thoughts um are in regards to it. It, it it's really hard to you know actually prove it. You know, just like um, you know, the captain has said that um, with the with the Rooney Rule, all that has to be done is just to give an interview. So, um, you know, it, it, it's that that's something difficult um, to really, you know, prove. Um, so I I don't I don't know if he's going to succeed on getting the suit. There might be some type of settlement, but um, I don't think he's going to. Um, you know, have ease getting hired in the league after this. Well, here's the problem, man. You some things need to be handled in house, right? Um, if the seventy percent of product is black people, but they're not going to they're not going to boycott. We got the biggest party that's about to happen in two weeks. It NFL surpassed churches, you know, and if they just sat there and not played, they have to listen. But they're not going to do it. You remember when um the uh, uh the bull, not the Bulls but uh L.A. Clippers they tried to do this boycott and they just turned their shirt around and still played the game. They still making money. What I, what I found out to be true because I used to you know be like why is these guys not um you know not trying to fix the team like Detroit's always suck. Certain teams just always suck and they're not trying to do anything. Now Brian Flory said you know that. Their um the, the owner told them to tank the team. Um, I don't know if you heard that, but they're going to continue to make money. Look at Pittsburgh Steelers; like, um, they could have easily got another quarterback, and they saw the decline with Ben Roethlisberger, but they didn't replace him. And if in your the success of a coach is predicated on the success of the quarterback, so they're they're not hiring a quarterback, so. That's my quite my that's my thing. So, but back to the story, these people, if we just stop watching and stop supporting, they have to change. They have to change because they they care about money first. What y'all think about that? Let me let me see what Jimmy think. Put it put on. What you think, Jimmy? Man, ain't nobody gonna mess with that money for that, man. <laughs> he said for that. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna do that. I know we all black and we all want to do better, but you threaten the check, they're gonna back down. Right there. Mm. Man, wh- what about you, LL? Um, wait, ask your question again. Oh, get off, man. I'm going to put you on mute, man. You ain't even listening. <laughs> you ain't even listening, man. What's up, Captain? What you, what you think about it? Can, can we have a revolution? Nah, they ain't going to do that because, you know, if – the best time would have did it when they when um they was going at the cap. You see, they ain't do nothing but nail like like you said. If they would just stop playing, mm-hmm. that would mess up so much money. And and these people so powerful, 
punching them in the mouth ain't gonna do nothing. You gotta hit them in the wallet. Mm. So if you say um and you got the biggest game of the year coming up, and all the black dudes be like, okay, bet. Y'all gonna watch this white ass Super Bowl, have fun. I mm-hmm. bet they change then. Facts. Like Facts. You, you gotta do it at the right time. Like you mm-hmm. gotta seize the moment and, and it'll be perfect to do a Super Bowl. Like, okay, this is what y'all want. Bro, until we get black coaches. Ain't none of us playing today. That's what I'm talking about. Can you imagine if, if we all waiting for the Super Bowl? They got all the endorsements and, and Budweiser's. They spent millions of dollars on this, and nobody comes out. Wow. But the, but the white dudes. Oh, man. The uh, kicker. They, they, they make a deal right now. Like, yep. right, what do y'all want? The kicker, the lineman, and what else? Uh, <laughs> and the quarterback. That's probably it. And, and um, what's, that, what's that guy on, on Los Angeles uh, Cup? He's dope though. That uh, yeah. So white. You, they would have golf and Cooper Cup. They hold mm-hmm. defense is black, mm-hmm. and and they two of their linemen is black. So you got five white dudes. You ain't even got a full team. That's mm-hmm. how you negotiate. Look here, we decided right now that we ain't playing. Yep. Well, all the endorsements on the line. All, yeah, every, you got to wait to like everything. Don't even say nothing about it. Because mm-hmm. you know you get that ask, one brother. Let me ask y'all this. Which one of the players gonna mess up their money to do that? It was obviously nobody. A, none. none of them gonna do it, but and then you gotta remember in football they got second, third, fourth, fifth, three. They got people waiting to take their place. If you say, "Oh, I ain't gonna play," they got nobody wanna see no first string. Who wanna yeah, see but fourth you gotta screen. remember them dudes is black. <laughs> And the roster got to be submitted the day of the but game. But those guys, those guys want it. Those guys that are second string and third string, they want to play more than they want to be black. If they, they if you say, I ain't going to play because I'm black, they're going to say, okay, don't play. I'm glad that for the opportunity. I'm going to hit them. All right, so let me, okay. let me ask you a but question. They, but they ain't getting right. paid no more. So they getting paid the same. So they'll be like, okay, bet I'll sit this one out. Like, I don't know. I ain't no, no million dollars no, in anyway, let's, so let's if check I this go out. show out in this game, ain't let's like look. I'm going to get more money for it. When you, when you look at sports, you uh, most people look at, they want to see players. I used to go to the games all the time, and if when I went to LeBron James games and everybody, if the star is not there, you're not going to really want to go. You want I want to see Aaron Donald. You know what I'm saying? I want to see the hype with the, uh, with the, with the you know, um, the quarterbacks that's black, like, um, Lamar Jackson, you know what I'm saying? Like they have the power. Like, like for instance, who going to replace LeBron James? Exactly. Mm. Who, NBA like, Finals, and they say your starting uh, small forward is Peter Schmidt. They be like, who? Oh, I'm leaving. The hell out of here. I'm leaving. You ever go to a concert? You ever go to a concert and um, like the the star you you came to see? They they went before. It was a story. I'll give you an example. Buster Ryan was performing. Um, and this was back in the day when Buster Ryan was like, put your hands where my eyes could see and all that stuff. And Coolio was the headliner, and they did not want to change this lineup because he had the number one song, um, the power and the money, the money and the power, and that dude, you know, all that stuff, right? So Buster Ryan went up there and destroyed it. Like, he got the crowd going raw and all that stuff, right? Soon as soon as dude came on, he was like, come on and ride on a fantastic voyage. They started walking out. And then he's like, hold on, cut that record. Then he put on that other song, and, and, and they left. Like people, people go to games to see the superstar. That's they, why Pittsburgh they can't. Already the paid their money when they left. Huh? <laughs> they had already ain't, paid their money you, when they left. Right, but you ain't getting residual income. Man, listen. If them boys that playing in the NFL act up, they're gonna cut them off because you gotta remember the way the game work is. The people you see in play. They tried that, other bro. people to get they, there. They tried that back in the remember remember when they boycotted back then and they was putting in like like uh Suge Knight. It didn't work. They, they tried they tried that in the eighties when they they um the players boycotted because you remember there was they were battling um another league with um with the USFXL or something like that. And mm-hmm. the, the, the big players quit and they was putting the Suge Knights in and, and they was losing losing money, so they had to make a deal. Um, the people like the people like uh, Jim, that, man. I guess it will work. Yeah, and like Jim, Jim Kelly. Uh, what are you saying? They really believe because anytime something like this happens, you always have players that say like, like, well, we need you know more black coaches. 
But what Ron's saying is that if they really believe that, then they would band together. It, it, it don't matter how they would do it. The, the people who's making the lease, they're making you know a half a million a year, or two hundred fifty thousand, or, or or whatever the amount is. The the big dogs they can cover that easily. Why why don't the black team owners just hire black coaches? There's on there's no black team owners. There ain't no black team oh, owners. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, here's the thing. There, there could be... He breaking up. Um, that's that's it. Doesn't matter if if there's a black team owner or not. You know what I'm saying? Um, the point of the matter is, if the play, the players run the asylum, like they run it, you know what I'm saying? They, and if they did, if they stepped up, because they got enough money, if they stepped up, things would change, in my opinion. Yeah, it would, because you figure each team got about four or five superstars. If they say, look, we sitting out and now get backups, we're going to pay your salary because we don't want y'all playing either. Mm-hmm. They could do that. Yep. They just yep. choose not to. Yep. Like, it could be done, and you could do it on the biggest stage. Like, all right. Who going, who, who, who's going to replace Michael Jordan in the 1991 finals, bro? Yeah. Think about that. Because you remember Craig Hodges wanted them to boycott him and Magic. They're the most powerful people. In the, like, sports is like WWF. Yeah. WWE. Scripted. It's right. scripted, too. Now, now yeah. this all um makes a good um point in you know in regards to people giving up money. So, in in the report, it said that um Brian Flores, he he got an offer from you know the, from Stephen Ross to pay him one hundred thousand dollars per loss in twenty nineteen to enhance the team's draft position. So, um, this is one guy, one coach. Hugh, Hugh Jackson said it too. When they Brown, remember the Browns went 0 and 16, and he mm. said he got the messages to prove it. Wow. So it's really going to come out. Mm. And that messes up your chances because guess what? When when they do the hiring process, what did they say? They said we we hired the best person for the job. So if they got these 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 Af- these African Americans tanking, as soon as they you know have a bad season, they they have no room for error. It's like, it kind of remind me of um remember the Titans. Yeah, you burn that mess up and you block. And then we're gonna pay you to mess up. Now you can't get another job because you went 0 and 16. That's on your resume. Mm, Jimmy, you, you should know that from Alabama, huh? Ooh, wee. But um, yeah, that's dope, man. Um yeah, so hold on one second here. Got a catch up here. Thank thank for um supporting the channel. If you want to um, definitely donate to us, man. Uh, D, uh, T and J Radio, we appreciate all the uh, support. You know, but uh, okay. So, what, where do you stand, Will, in this situation? Um, well, I mean, as far as them finding out, there there's a lot of um, grimy stuff going on. You know, um, I don't know if they're specifically targeting him because it, you know, because he's black. But I'm looking at these things, and I'm sitting there thinking about um, different different jobs. People are in this situation every day, where they're they're getting asked to do like you know crazy stuff, to where if they end up getting caught, everything ends up going on them. Like they wanted him to tank the season. They wanted him to try to recruit recruit possibly Tom Brady um you know um when they weren't supposed to you know in violation of the rules so there's a possibility they could be looking at him like like hey he, he just a grunt we're going to have him do all the dirty work that we don't want to do ourselves or they could just be dirty like that all the time so um i don't know that's why i'm saying it's it's really hard in this situation to to prove in court that it's racism, even if it is. He can't win, Rocky. He can't win. <laughs> yeah, he ain't gonna win. He, he done, man. And it, it ain't he's gonna be right there with Kaepernick. Hopefully, uh, Nike support it. But this, I, I think this is gonna go on deaf ears. Oh, it definitely is. Mm-hmm. And then if it don't, you're gonna go in front of a racist ass judge and lose anyway. So. Ain't no winning yep. this one. Yep, yep, yep. So, well, 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 we, we know what Jimmy stands. Jimmy, like, look, 
Just play the game, man. Just play the game and get your money. <laughs> you saying, Jimmy? Play the game, get your money, get out, and invest. Invest mm-hmm. the difference. <laughs> All right, man. We're going to start wrapping up, man. Um, Jimmy X, you want to um, leave us with anything? Give you, you the floor. Hey, I just think it's a great show. I'm glad to be on here, man. I appreciate y'all. Oh, uh, thanks. Thank you, Jimmy. All right. All right, Captain, man. We appreciate you as well, man. Appreciate wanna, y'all uh, for having me, man. Wanna uh, give us the last words. I'm good. Shout y'all out for putting another good show and thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Yes, yes, that was good, man. That was fun. <laughs> that was that was against our norms, but uh just figure we had some fun, man. Um you know, Wild Out Wednesdays, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, that was definitely um, fun, informative, and, um, you know, I, I like to hear different points of view on, on everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, Nikki. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. <laughs> yeah, Martin Locke blessed us with his presence. Um, real quick, we, uh, we got to play one of our sponsors. Check out one of our sponsors, afjcworldwide.com that is afjcworldwide.com for our latest apparel homeware and drinkware definitely get a shirt for your husband wife doesn't matter again check out afjcworldwide.com yep 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 so we we're gonna wrap up man but um I will say definitely hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and also share this information. Like is really important for us, man, because YouTube is not trying to push things, so we have to uh, kind of push the algorithms, if you will. But um, we definitely appreciate you guys for support, and um, we'll see you on another time.